You can't keep me here. You're the primary suspect in two homicides. We can detain you briefly. What do you think you're going to prove? First, we're going to prove that you killed George Rowe to get his security pass. His security pass? You needed it to get into the nursing home in order to kill Miles Hotling. Steve. No, no, no. Care to tell me why? Because of something you said, Mr. Mayor, five years ago. It was in Karen Stottlemyre's movie, which, which I, I thoroughly enjoyed, by the way. Yeah, me too. I watched the whole thing. When you buried the capsule, you made a promise to Miles Holling, remember? You said that if he lived another five years, that you'd dig it up again so that he could add a final chapter to his autobiography. That's right, I did. If Miles turned 115, they would have dug it up. And in your paranoia, you couldn't risk that happening, could you? So you tried to scare the old man to death. Late night phone calls, death threats. When that didn't work, you realized you had no choice. You had to kill him. There's something in there, something you thought no one would see for 100 years. I've written a letter to future generations. And I've asked my family and staff to do the same. Why don't we drop them in now? The mayor invited his family and staff members to add a personal note. Let's take a look what Mr. Gamble wrote. Captain, do you mind reading it? On December 2nd, 1998, I killed Darren Leveroni with my car. May God forgive me because I will never forgive myself. Signed, Dennis Gamel. Urge to confess. The cop's best friend. Steve, please, how long have you known me? I don't know you at all. It was an accident, I swear. I was drinking. I don't. Remember hitting anybody. I woke up and the, the, the fender was dented and there was some blood and some hair and I thought I hit an animal. I pray to God I hit an animal. Lieutenant, take him away. Yes, sir. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. Seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out.